Hi, Shani Fannies. Welcome to Educating Shani. I'm Shani and I survived an eating disorder. Hi, Shani. Hi. Whoa. Hold on, let's try it again. Hi, Shani, hi. Okay, it's not gonna happen today, never mind, but hi. Welcome to my channel. I'm Shani. If you're new, subscribe if you'd like. Don't if you don't want to, that's okay. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. That lets me know that you want me to make more like this or if you have any other suggestions of you want, what you want me to do. I just talk about mental health and eating disorders and bringing awareness and all the things. Um, yeah, so anyway, uh, enough about me. Let's talk about you, Dean Yukumi. <laughs> I've been asked to respond to a video on YouTube called, um, what's it called? Eugenia Cooney crying long version. And then it says she cries 10 minutes into the video when pressured about talking about the Jacqueline situation, I think, like the 5150 situation thing. So it's 50 minutes long. I'm not gonna watch the whole thing, but I'm gonna watch up until she cries. And I'm a very like emotional connecting person. And so I would like to see what led up to her crying. Um, and I just want to react to it. So I don't know if you're going to see this before or after a video that I'm uploading where I spoke, where I'm going to be talking directly. I'm going to film it right after this, where I'm going to be talking directly to Eugenia. So I don't know which one you're going to see first, but if you've seen the other one first, then you'll know that I had a slip up. And if you want to go watch where I told her about that, um, you can go watch my Eugenia, the video where I was talking to her. So, but today we're going to react to this and see how it goes. And here we go. Oh, I feel bad, but again. Thank you, Maya McLean, for the bits. Yeah, it is. I would appreciate it since I love you so much and love you. Oh, well, that's really nice, Maya. Okay, well, I've been doing it more for people that are like, you know, already in streams a lot and stuff. But um, you do seem really nice, so okay, I'll be like you. Um, and yeah, it's a feature that I always kind of forget exists, but it is a thing. So yeah. I just want to say again real quick, if you're watching this and you are wanting to starve yourself or whatever to look like this, please know that for lack of a better word, Eugenia Cooney is very lucky. Um, people don't get to this size and survive. They just don't. It's very rare that that happens. So she's very lucky. So I, it's probably not even possible for you. And even if it was, I'm begging you with all of my heart, please don't, you'll lose everything. You'll lose your ability to have kids. You'll lose your teeth like I do. You'll lose relationships. You'll lose your health. You'll lose a lot of your life will be taken off of your life. Um, it's not worth it. I promise you're beautiful just the way you are. Your body is beautiful and perfect just the way that it is. You're awesome. You always make us happy. I'm glad. You know, I always, like, am happy if I can make you guys happy. Um, so, I mean, no one should be able to ask to be VIP. Well, they're a big thing. You're a VIP, right? Because you should be. You're always, like, really nice. Ever speak to it's been a bit, She did what she had to do to give you help. I feel like Joyous could respect her more. Um, you know, I don't wish any bad on her, but I, I don't know if I really, so kind, but let's not and it makes it nice thing. Thank you. I mean, I'm happy to try to make you guys happy. I don't know. Mm -hmm. Um, and as for the other question, you know, I don't wish any bad on her, guys, but it's just like sometimes, like, if you're saying, like, she did what she had to do, it's like, um, she never talked to me about anything before going to very drastic measures. A lot of things you guys have heard just aren't really the full truth. So it's like, thank you so much, Anna Grace, for the bits. Of course. Of course. That's true. I love you too. I appreciate you guys so much. Thank you. Listen, it's like I'm, Eugenie and I are very like in the fact that we have similar sensitivities. Like she takes tough love as bullying or hating on her. Um, I was like that too when I was deep in my eating disorder. If someone tried to give me tough love in my comments, I would take it as hate or um, bullying or stuff like that. Um, and I think it's just because we're so sensitive that in our brain, things are so 
escalated and much bigger than they actually are um, as far as like how people feel about us. And we're also always afraid of disappointing people. So, um, so I can see in her, you know, this is how she always is that she tries to be as nice and sweet as she can. But um, I'm very curious to hear what else she's going to say about the situation because if someone, if she, if what she's saying is true that they didn't even, that Jacqueline didn't even like come to her first, <sighs> some people just can't handle stuff like that. I couldn't either. If if I had a friend who wasn't like a super close friend or family member, fifty one fifty me, um, I think I would have gotten more angry and hurt, and I would have just bullshit my way through the hospital until I got out and then you know what I mean like I wouldn't want to like she's got to want to want it or else it's never gonna happen you know yeah you know I wish her the best and everything um like I don't wish her any bad you know it's like see she's um, a people pleaser too same girl I don't really know if I'm feeling up to like you know talking and all that but I mean um, just because it's like, it's just a lot of stuff that happened with her and some of that stuff. It's kind of confusing to me. Like, I don't know, but uh, I don't wish her any bad. You know, I wish her the best regardless. So I mean, yeah, no bad wishes towards anyone. Would you have believed Jacqueline if she did ask if you had an ED? Um, believed her? What do you mean? I mean, I would have felt a lot less weird than if she suddenly just Thanks threw me into a bad situation. Serena, thank you for the bits. I really appreciate it. So that's how thank Eugenia you. sees it. I wonder if that's you true. Need child. I want to get child too. I mean, if I don't get him, it's okay. I feel really lucky that I got Venti last time. Yo, what's up, Eugenia? It's been a while. How have you been? Oh my gosh, Nick. Hi. What's up? It's great to see you here. It has been a while. People say her sweetness is fake. I don't know. I personally don't think it's fake. I just think that she's so um, malnourished to the point that her personality doesn't have a lot in it because she doesn't have any energy for it. Do you know what I mean? Um, so she talks really high like that and really sweetly and I also do think that she's a people pleaser, which concerns me because for me, my eating disorder, I'm a people pleaser and there were people in my life that I was trying to please and I hope that that's not the case for her. But we don't know, we don't know. But again, she's a beautiful girl inside. She's, I'm not saying she's a hideous, not gorgeous girl. I'm just saying, please don't do anything dangerous to try and look like this because it will kill you most likely. It is shocking that she is alive at this, at this size, it's shocking. I wonder if that's true. Kind of things to them, and I, I, I wouldn't just go on the internet like claiming a bunch of stuff about them and their family and not really talking to them directly about that. And also, again, like the situation was just really bad for me. Like sometimes just having all these people be like, oh, like, you know, like it's like, guys, I was actually, if anything, like, I don't know, the, like the place I went to was like really scary. Friends save each other's lives. But you guys aren't understanding. You don't know how like this friendship was. Um, oh, she's welling up like, inside. Some people get the wrong idea, thinking I was closer with some people than I was, and like some of these people that go now claiming like, oh, we we asked her all the time, we talked to her all the time. She says I brushed her off. Nope, <laughs> she never said anything. That's all lies. So no, that's that's just not what actually happened. <laughs> Um, thank you, Huzar, for the bits. I really appreciate it. Thank you. I'm not in denial, you guys. I would know if someone said something to me or hasn't said something to me. And I'm not trying to say anything bad about her. You know, like, I'm sure she has a lot of good qualities and things like that. But it's just, in that situation, it's just kind of like, you know, I'm not trying to say anything, like, mean to her as a person. And I do wish her the best regardless. But 
in that situation, it's just kind of like, no, like that, that, that isn't what actually happened. So I mean, yeah, it's just not what actually happened. So what she said, you said, kind of, and you guys can believe whatever you want to believe, but I know I'm telling the truth, but I mean, regardless, I, I can't like force you guys to believe me. Hmm. I'm not gaslighting. I know what happened. It's like, I was there. It's like, that's why it's like, it's kind of frustrating. Like when I actually like know what happened and it's like, people just tell me I'm gaslighting and I'm lying. It's like, people say they want me to say my side or say whatever, but then what I do is just like, you're gaslighting. It's like, no. The PET team made the decision, not her. I understand. I sort of believe her. I actually, I don't know why. I kind of feel like she's telling the truth about what happened and that she was like, I feel like she was really traumatized in this center that she was sent to. For some reason, I'm, I believe her, which makes this 10 times more sad now. But a lot of lies were told to them. A lot of lies were told to them and I was like, extremely nervous and like yeah told to who i, I understand her, but then what i do is just like you're gaslighting it's like no the pet team made the decision not her i understand that but a lot of lies were told to them a lot of lies were told to them and i was like extremely nervous and like yeah mm. it's just not a good situation what is your story? It's okay if you don't want to. I don't know how much I want to get into it, you guys. I mean, again, I'm really not trying to, like, you know, start a fight over this. It's like, what happened happened a long time ago anyway, okay? I don't want to seem like I'm just, like, hating on her for no reason. You know, I wish her all the best regardless, okay? Like, I'm not trying to, like, start anything, like, against her. I feel like, you know, some of you guys are trying to, like, you know, get me to um, do that and stuff like that. Now, there was a lot of things that were said that, like, were not true, regardless of, like, what some people want to believe. And, I mean, you guys can believe whatever you want, but, I mean, regardless, like, what happened was a long time ago anyway. And I don't wish her any bad or anything like that. It's just I don't really know why some of you guys are, you know, constantly trying to get me to talk about that. Who's our thank you for the bits? All those good times. Someone wants to get you help and your mental and physical well-being improved. Mm. She's gonna blow. And of course it's upsetting. The game of life is full of us. And yeah, okay, Huzar. But a minute ago you were also just saying, like, kind of like implying that I was lying about, like, her, like, saying concerns to me when that never actually happened, you know? And where I was put, I'm not saying this is her fault because maybe she didn't know where I was going to go. So I'm not fully putting that upon her. Cassandra, thank you so much. For She's being nice this about it. Three. Oh my gosh. Thank you. That's so nice. Thank you. But I can say that where I was put was actually like, I, I, I was literally, I felt in danger. It actually could have potentially been dangerous. Like it was actually like not maybe what you guys are thinking and maybe she didn't think that that's where i was gonna be put like i'm not fully saying that is like fully her fault for that but there were a lot of lies that were said and that's all i'm trying to say it, it doesn't mean i'm trying to start anything against her or anything like that you guys do you think you found treatment so traumatizing that you weren't ready for help um well i mean of course mm. it's a scary thing you guys but where i was put what was a lie? See, guys, like, literally, like, it's like you guys are just trying to, like, start up old drama. A lot of things were a lie. No one ever brought up any kind of concerns to me before. That was a lie. Uh, a lot of things about my family were a lie. A lot of things about my driver were a lie. A lot of things um, that happened that day were not true. There's a lot of things that were used out of, like, context and things like that. Uh, these people that are such good friends to me didn't message me the entire time I was gone. Uh, thank you so much, Queen of O. I wonder if that's true. Post on your Cyberbot kidney failure. I know you don't like the sub, but I promise this post is not attacking you, but just giving important medical information that can mm. save your life. I promise I'm not um, trying thank to you, Queen of O. Alright, well, I appreciate that. Thank you. Um, tell us what really happened then, if they're all lies. I don't really know why some of you guys are so demanding of me. Like, guys, like, the thing is, like, you guys don't understand, okay? Like, everyone just comes to my streams, like, what do you want to attack me lately, okay? It's like, why do you guys do this to me? Seriously. Like, I don't know why I owe you guys an explanation for everything. Why well, I don't know why I have to owe everyone like every detail to like every little thing. There's something extremely 
can understand in my faith and through it, including terrible friends. I love you, girl. Much hugs. Thank you. I feel so stupid right now, but like, it's just like. Thank you, Shauna. Jacqueline didn't go to the facility and didn't experience what Eugenia experienced there. She really should have set her up for a comfortable, loving, at specific facility where she felt safe. That wasn't the case. Eugenia has told her story multiple times. Listen to her. Please understand why it was so very traumatic for Eugenia and why a place like that would easily backfire for anyone. Show 100. Thanks. Thank you so much. Thank you, Liz. Love you, hon. It's okay. Thank you, Liz. Oh. Um... <sighs> Sorry, guys. I feel so dumb right now. Like, I don't even know why I'm crying. Guys, Eugenia doesn't have to tell anything. Please stop pressuring her. Thank you, Joe, for subscribing. Um. Thank you, Anola. Can you please stop reading the troll comments? You're beautiful. Don't cry. We love you. They are hateful and you are too kind. Thank you, Sunshine. Oh my gosh. Thank you for the 5,000 bits, Sunshine. That's crazy. Thank you. Thank you so much. I honestly appreciate that so much. Like, I'm sorry I seem so down. You don't owe anyone anything. You went through a lot, and most of us. Oh, thank that. you. Thank you so much. Thank you, Anna Grace. You don't owe anyone anything. Hmm. And you're not stupid. You're being attacked, and it isn't fair. Thank you. I seriously feel so dumb right now. Thanks, guys. Thank you. Thank you, Al Marie, for the such bits. An amazing person and have so much to offer. Leave her alone, guys. She's an amazing soul. Thank you. Yeah, I'm fine, you guys. I'm sorry. Okay, I'm gonna stop Thanks. it there, cause. Okay, I have a lot of thoughts right now. First of all, that was actually really hard to watch. That was really emotional to watch. Um, I actually really do feel bad for her. Um, I understand that she's uh, hurting people, whether she wants to admit that or not. I understand that. I understand that she doesn't want help. She doesn't want to get better, clearly, or else she would have by now. But that doesn't mean that she can't want that. And I just want to say, I actually believe her. I believe her about how everything went down. I believe that she was sent somewhere that was abusive. I I just know that for me, like if someone forces something like that on to me, and especially if it's if it's like end up that I go to a place where people are not kind and people are, I I just I have a feeling that she's telling the truth about that. I really do. I have a feeling that she's telling about the truth, the truth about how everything went down and what happened to her, and all of that like I truly truly believe that I'm a really good judge of character you don't have to believe me if you don't want to that's fine but I truly believe that she meant that and I truly believe that that's how she sees it and I do believe that that's what happened I also however believed believe that her, her judgment is very clouded with this malnourished brain of hers and I think that she is obviously getting something good from her eating disorder or else she wouldn't want it to keep going I don't know if that's about her weight or if it's about pleasing anybody in her life or it's about views or money i don't know what it is but it's clear this girl doesn't want to help and until she wants it it's not going to happen um and so like i've said before on here and i'll say it again we all we can do there's really not much we can do let's be real but what we can try and do is try and force her to want to get better by taking away her um reward for her eating disorder and that means stop watching her videos completely unsubscribe i will react to all of her videos on this channel from now on so that you don't have to give her a view because giving her a view is giving her money giving her fame and giving her one more reason to not stop what she's doing so don't leave a comment don't like don't dislike unsubscribe from her if you want to watch from now on all of her new stuff i will react to it in full from now on 
But until then, just um, that's really all that we can do. I wish I could do more. But what Eugenia is doing isn't okay. It's not okay to meet the world. It's not okay to me, to you, to all the young people out there that look up to her and are trying to starve themselves to look like her, which is damn near impossible. It's a wonder that she's alive. But also, she's hurting herself, and I just... I can't help but wonder, why does she hate herself so bad? I know for me, I hated myself so much because I thought a lot of the things that happened to me were my fault. I thought the sexual abuse was my fault, the physical abuse, the emotional abuse. I thought that my eating disorder <laughs> was my fault when I was literally five years old when I started my eating disorder and five-year-olds don't know what that is or shouldn't anyway and I didn't I just figured it out on my own continue to just rely on food and be abused and we don't we don't know what's going on in her life we can have these discussions about her in my videos and those are gonna continue I'm not gonna stop doing that I can't just not do anything like I have to do something because this girl is gonna die very 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 soon and if there's even a slight chance that this could help her, then I'll do anything, everything that I possibly can do. So, um, and I hope you guys will do the same. I think this girl needs more compassion from people. I really do. But I also think that she gets a lot of compassion. Let me rephrase that. She, she doesn't need more compassion. She gets a lot of compassion, but she doesn't see it that way. What she needs is to see the compassion and to feel the compassion from her viewers being like this isn't about us hating on you or being mean to you this is like we love you and we want you to get help and we know that you're about to die and yes you're setting a horrible example you're triggering people you're teaching young kids to have an eating disorder and to starve yourself and you'll get famous and have a million subscribers if you do that and you'll get money and fame and all the things but this girl needs some serious help and by the way this isn't about my channel like we all know I'm not here for money or fame. I don't, I don't monetize things. I don't give a shit about that. I really don't. I'm literally here to try and help as many people as I can. And I'm just trying to be brave enough to finally try and help Eugenia like I've always wanted to because I just know that she's gonna die really soon. But this is about Eugenia. She is a good, kind soul. I truly believe that. I think she's just so sick in her brain that it is clouding her ability to see what's right and what's wrong and what's bad and what's good and what's dangerous and what's not and also it's clouding her ability to love herself because if she loved herself she would get help for herself but clearly she doesn't um last week i made a video and i asked if anybody out there knew how to like sign a petition for her or whatever and a bunch of you left um the website for me and i went and i signed the, the petition to get her off YouTube. So I'm gonna link that below in the description and I'm begging you to please go sign it and get all of your friends to sign it and stuff because this girl isn't gonna get better if she's on YouTube and if we keep feeding into her channel. Again, you'll still see her on other channels. If you wanna choose my channel to watch her on, I will update you on her, but please don't give her any views or comments or likes or a subscription at all. That's just gonna make her wanna keep going. So maybe if we took that away, that could help, you know? So, and I'm actually gonna go film a video talking directly to Eugenia right now. So we'll see how that goes. I'm feeling very inspired to do that, so I'm going to. And then I have another Eugenia video in mind, but I also have another eating disorder video. I'm just gonna try and just do what I feel needs to be done as I go. But I know I'm doing the right thing and I know that I'm doing everything in my power to try and help her and I also know that I have a platform that she knows about and has watched before so if there's any way there's another eating disordered youtuber out there that can get through to her I'll do anything I can to make that happen because there are not a lot of channels out there where people have put their actual recovery online there's a lot of recovered channels um, but there aren't a lot who have taken you through their recovery like I have. Um, and so if she needs a friend to talk to, I hope that she'll reach out to me. And if not, then I know that I'm trying to do the best that I can. And I hope that you guys will join me and do the same. So Jeannie, if you're watching, I love you, girl. Message me if you'd like on Instagram. Please fight for you. You deserve it. You're a beautiful person. 
you have so much to offer this world and it's so sad and it's so hard to see you just dying every day and you don't have much time left, honey. You do not have much time left at all. And I adore you, I love you, I want you to be better, I want you to be happy, I want you to be healthy, but just know that you're not alone and things can be even better if you do heal. You're very loved. You're very cared about more than I think you think you are. People really actually really love and care about you. If there's any part of you inside that's like, oh, I know that I'm doing the wrong thing, then please just trust that feeling and go with it and do something, please. Please get help. Anyway, I love you guys and I'll see you next time. And remember forever and always that you're beautiful, you're worth it, and I am too. Thank you for watching. Bye.